Are you looking for the next craft beer to try? Well, maybe Woody Wheat from Austin Brothers is the one for you. Welcome back everybody. So today we are gonna try Woody Wheat. I have had this before. I'm guessing it was at Hopcat. Uh, I did look on Untap because usually I bring it up and it said I had it. Um, Austin Brothers, most of them, I think all of them have been good. I do have one more. I think it's a triple IPA from them. Uh, but uh, Jessica picked this up around Christmas time. This is the middle of uh, January. Uh, uh, this was packaged on 9-12-19, so a little old. So let's go ahead and open this, get it into a glass, and see what we think. It's a wheat beer, four or five months, shouldn't hurt it that much, I wouldn't think. There we go. Uh, we have made a couple what, four wheat beers, I believe, and most of the time I like to try and keep the IBUs low just because of that weediness. Uh, so we'll see if we get any bitterness from this. My guess is we're not gonna. Um, Off-white head, small medium bubbles, about a half a finger of head color. Lots of stuff floating in there. Uh, Yellow-orangish in color. Watching all that stuff move back and forth. Uh, I can't see the light box in there. Uh, medium bubble level, some bubbles coming up. Uh, but yeah, looks more like a wheat beer. They should be hazy. That protein's gonna float in there, stay in suspension longer. Uh, so yeah, it looks the color. Let's go ahead and smell. A little wheat citrus, like orange citrus, is what I get. Maybe a touch of sweetness. Yeah, that's a, that's about it. A good weedy orange citrus. And I think that's probably standard for most wheat beers, commercial wheat beers, craft wheat beers. You're going to get that. They're, they're mixing that orange with that wheat. And that's pretty much what this has. Let's go ahead and taste like almost kind of like a creamsicle you get some vanilla orange in there mixed in with that wheat but it, it, it's not much like the aftertaste it has that vanilla orange weedy vibe too yeah i would say ibus are very low on this um that wheat is bringing body to the beer. It's on the thicker side, but you get that orange, that that vanilla weedy in there. It's almost like they're using some lactose, and most of the time I get vanilla from lactose, but without that sweetness. So maybe they are using real vanilla beans or something like that in there, because that vanilla taste is there, but there's no sweetness, so that's why I'm saying I, I don't think they use the lactose because it, it, it's not sweet. It's a little dry. Um, it, that that vanilla isn't. It's not coming off sweet, so I'm pretty sure they're not using lactose to bring out that vanilla. I don't think. I don't know if I've ever had another wheat orange beer that's had vanilla in it. But, yeah, it's good. Let's see if it says anything on here. Um, hints of orange peel, generous amounts of vanilla. Okay. I didn't get it out of the, the smell. Now, um, when I looked at it on tapped, I did see that my thing said vanilla. And I don't get it out of the smell. And I don't know if I got it out of the smell before. But yeah, out of that smell, it, it's that like weedy orange is what you get. But you do get that vanilla in the taste. Uh, dogs are growing crazy upstairs. For this one, I would have to go with a 4 out of 5. Definitely one if you're a wheat fan to pick up and try. And I think Austin Brothers did a good job with this one. So if you like this video, check some of the other ones out over here. And until next time, happy brewing.